In today's morning rounds, the fight against Zika. Florida has reported four new cases of the virus spread by local mosquitoes. There are now 21 total non-travel related cases in Palm Beach, Broward and Miami-Dade counties. As the number of infections rises across the U.S., health officials are urging people to use mosquito repellents, including some with DEET. Our Dr. John LaPook looks at whether chemicals registered with the EPA are safe for pregnant women to use. To be honest, I don't know that I feel comfortable wearing DEET. 31-year-old Allie Simon is 37 weeks pregnant and lives in New Jersey. She knows Zika has reached mosquitoes in the United States and, like many pregnant women we've spoken to, is leery of wearing insect repellent during her pregnancy. I would be really hesitant to wear it, and I feel like I would only wear it if I absolutely positively had to. These repellents are safe, safe for use by all populations, including pregnant women. Dana Vogel heads the Division of the Environmental Protection Agency that examines the health effects of pesticides. Vogel says she understands the fear pregnant women may have about using chemicals to try to prevent the mosquito bites that spread Zika. Being a mom, um, having been pregnant at one point in time, um, the, the, I would use a repellent. I, think they're, I know that they're definitely safe for use as I've participated in the reviews of them. There have only been a few published studies addressing the effects of DEET on expectant mothers and their children. There's mostly animal research on the topic. However, one study in pregnant women found insect repellent with 20% DEET used daily in the second or third trimester was safe for both mother and baby. No products put on the market unless a safety evaluation is done and it's found to be safe. DEET-based products come in concentrations ranging from 5 to 100%. A higher number doesn't mean a product will work better. It means it will last longer. According to an industry trade group, 5% DEET lasts about an hour, while 30% lasts up to 8 hours. To me, that's the most important thing, to follow the label and use the repellents as they're labeled for use. For CBS This Morning, I'm Dr. John LaPook. Dr. LaPook says it's important to remember whatever repellent you use, carefully read the label and follow the directions.